Back to the daily grind, the channel's getting false flagged by triggered trolls, so make sure you subscribe to the new channel. Let's get to the MMA news. Paige Van Zant is back at a new weight class. Let's go. <laughs> you might be saying, why are you so excited? I don't know, motherfucker. It's Paige Van Zant. That's why. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Anyways, Paige Van Zant's fighting Jessica Ibe, scheduled, targeted for UFC 216. It's not actually scheduled yet, but it was reported by Flow Combat that both fighters have already agreed to the fight. The UFC just hasn't finalized it yet. And that's interesting. I wonder, do we know who the main event for UFC 216 is? Off the top of my head, let me uh, think. It's not the heavyweight. I don't know who it is yet. So, I mean, out of all those title fights that were supposed to be at UFC 217, I'm sure they sh one or two of them have to be 216. So, Paige Van Zant will actually help um, with the pay-per-view buys because she was on Dancing with the Stars. She's one of the UFC's most popular talents. Even though she's, you know, not the best fighter in her division, some would say, she is one of the most popular fighters in her division. And that means a lot in the entertainment age because it's 2017, motherfucker, like I always say. So Paige Van Zandt's coming back at a new weight class. I was on another website, you know, because I had to do a little bit of research on this because at first I heard it was at Bantamweight and I was like up 20 pounds. That's crazy. But she, if you remember, she did have a, a little bit of trouble with her last weight cut versus Michelle Watterson when she fought her, and when uh, she lost that fight by submission. So, who knows? I mean, what if she comes and she starts looking really good at 125 pounds, her, na her next uh, weight class? That would be interesting. It'd be like a career revival, damn near. You know what I'm saying? But that's one of the things I was... That's one of the... I don't know if that's good or bad for these weight classes, because the men's are about to start going 10 pounds every weight class, too. So... You do bad at one weight division, and you can say, oh, you know, it was either either I had a bad weight cut, or you can say, the girls in this division are just a little bit too big for me, you know, and, and I feel like I can make a weight class down, so I feel like I would, you know, be better suited at 115. So, it'll be interesting. I mean, I don't know how many times that'll go on, because I am actually, it works. That's one thing about it, it works, because what if Paige Van Zandt is, goes undefeated at flyweight at 125 pounds? That's going to be insane, and you can say that. Undefeated at flyweight, you know, she was at 115 before this weight class was opened up, and, you know, she, it was hard for her to make the weight. She always came into the fight a little fatigued because of the weight cut. Now she's looking really healthy. You know, like Joe Rogan always says about, like, um, Kelvin Gastelum or Donald Cerrone or Conor McGregor. You know, Conor McGregor's at 155. He didn't look as good at 145. As far, he looked, I'm not talking about fighting skills. I'm talking about as far as he said he looked unhealthy the weigh-ins at 145. So it's better for him to fight at 155. So, I mean, it'll work. Imagine if Paige Van Zandt goes, uh, let's say, and this is one thing I'll say about the new tough season. It's it's introducing this division, 125 pounds. There's no current UFC fighters that I've seen on the roster for that. So the champion of 125 pounds is pretty much going to be a non-UFC fighter. I thought they would throw some UFC girls into the tough house, you know, to crown the, to crown the champion. But since they're not... You could have Paige Van Zant versus a, a, you know, a fighter, a C-level fighter, B-level fighter. I don't know where these girls are coming from. Invicta, are they all coming from Invicta? But you could have Paige Van Zant versus a non-UFC fighter for the championship. If she wins this fight versus Jessica I, that'll be a flyweight fight. And then who else has a right to the title shot? Who gets the first title shot if not Paige? You know what I'm saying? So that would be, what if, dude, Paige Van Zant could literally be a UFC champion next year. That's very realistic. And now that would, but that at the beginning of every weight class, you know, there's somebody that gets dethroned. So, I mean, she could easily get dethroned by a 135 pounder that moves down to 125. Or so, a one, what if Michelle Watterson moves up? Then she could beat her for the championship. So, the very beginning of the division, the champion might not be the best person in the world, best fighter in the world. But this could make Paige Van Zant one of a, a fan favorite, a, a champion, literally. That would be on her career forever, a UFC champion. And it, it's very realistic. I just thought about that, and that's pretty dope. I mean, some people are not going to like it, but I think it's pretty cool. The fact that Paige Van Zandt, you know, she's gonna, she might get to be a champion, you know, or I mean, I don't know, because she's not going to beat Joanna Young Jacek. I mean, we th let's let's get that out the way. Joanna Young Jacek's a bad motherfucker. So what if, oh shit, what if Joanna moves up? Yeah, she better try and get that belt before Joanna moves up. That's one thing I will say, so... 
I mean, I'm excited about the 125 pound division. Very, very excited. There's all type of possible super fights that could happen. If Ronda Rousey was still fighting, it could be Yoani on Jacek versus Ronda Rousey. That might not be the fight to make anymore since Ronda took two losses. But still, remember what I was just talking about with the career reset thing? Ronda Rousey could say, oh, you know, I was a little too big for one, or I was a little too small for 135. At 125, she's going to be smoking chicks. If she's throwing around 135 pounders, what's she going to do to 100? What would Ronda Rousey do to Paige Van Zandt if, if she got her in, in the clinch? One of them judo throws. Come on, she's taking her down. And wh what about Yuani on Jacek versus Ronda Rousey? Holy fuck, you see what I'm saying? So that's one thing about these divisions. There can be some huge fights. What about Paige Van Zandt versus Ronda Rousey? I mean, Ronda Rousey could actually possibly win that fight. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't know. This is going to be pretty cool, man. I'm actually very excited about this division. I hope I'm as excited about the U the men's divisions when they start going 10 pounds. I just don't want to see some of the guys that you know you are just going to use it as an excuse like, oh, I just shouldn't have been at this weight class. Let me try this one. They're going to go down there. Oh, you know what? I think I should actually be at this other weight class. I just have, I just needed my discipline right. You know, so uh, some guys, but I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. So I'm going to leave that there. We can talk about it in the future. I'm sure there's going to be more news coming. It is what it is, man. Let the hitters know what the fuck you think about Paige Van Zandt moving up 10 pounds to 125 pounds versus Jessica I at UFC 216. I believe this is actually the first flyweight women's fight we've had. We will see because besides the tough season the this is the only 125 pound women's fight i've heard about so it is what it is let the hitters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments dude what do the movie titanic and sixth sense have in common i see dead people <laughs>